apprehend God in all things, for God is in all things. Every single creature is filled with God and is a book about God. Amen. Do you, how many of y'all like to watch YouTube videos, videos from YouTube? Okay, so not many. Um, <laughs> so the rest of you guys just do what you need to do. <laughs> if you need to check out from here, go ahead. The, the, um, one of my favorite YouTube videos, though, is uh, um, something called A Good Day. A Good Day. And we showed it downstairs in the Sunday school uh, with the adult class. And it's really, really a beautiful, beautiful meditation. I'd show it in here, but it just there's so much going on, it just wouldn't have worked out. So, so you're going to have to just listen to the way I describe it. So in this meditation, a guy named David Stindel Rost, David Stindel Rost, he, um, he really takes us through a, a deep meditation on life and the beauty of life in nature and in people and um, in everyone. Uh, but he does more than that, really. He, he really tries to awaken anybody who's watching the, the meditation to all the gifts and blessings that are, all, that are around us all the time in this life that we might just miss for whatever reason. So he takes us through all these gifts and blessings, like I said, in nature, from the beauty of the sky, from the flowers to everything, to the face of the person sitting right next to you. And he, and he reminds us that these things are gifts. He starts it out like this. He says, do you think today is just another day in your life? Do you think today is just another day in your life? He says, it is not just another day. It is the one day that is given to you today. It is the one day that is given to you today. You see, today, he says, is given to us. Today is a gift. It is a good day today. Now, I love this. I just absolutely, you really got to watch it. I mean, it's just so beautiful. And, and, and I just love it because... I need to be reminded of this. I don't know about you, but I need to be reminded of this daily. That today is a good day. That today is a gift given to me. So um, I need to be reminded because all I have to do to, to just get that out of my mind is turn on the TV. That's it. Just turn on the TV and it's a good day is gone. Watch the news. Read a newspaper. Heck, I don't even have to do that. All I have to do is take one of my kids to school and face the, face the school day traffic. And it's no longer a good day. It's something else. All, yeah. So I need things like this to remind me, you know. Uh, but it's, it's really more than just taking my kids to school and, and realizing this isn't a great day. It's something deeper in me, I think. Because it's almost like there's something either in me or outside of me that says, now come on, Tom, be real. You've got to be realistic. All you've got to do is turn on the news and you see war and destruction and greed. I mean, come on, you're naive if you think today is a good day because of what this video is showing you. You're naive. I mean, in the real world, this doesn't work. See, in the real world, there's pain and there's suffering. And so it's almost like, how dare I think today is a good day with all that's going on in the world? You know, fix all the stuff that's going on in the world, then you can say it's a good day. So for me, anyway, I'm left with that tension, that incredible tension that, yes, life can bring pain. And life can bring heartbreak, and it happens. But also the other side, and that is that it is a good day, that life is a gift, a gift that has been given to each of us. And today is that gift. 
So how do you hold those things in tension? Well, I heard a story about this, and I think this is, works for me. Um, this, a woman was diagnosed with cancer. And as you can imagine, when you're diagnosed with something like that, she, she falls into fear, and she's, she gets afraid about what, what her life is going to be. And she does that for a while, and then, and then she thinks, well, you know, I'm going I'm to be a really good patient. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to help with the healing process. I'm not giving up. So she does everything Western medicine um, says to do. And then she adds to that alternative medicines, and she, she changes her diet, and she has a wonderful diet and great nutrition, and she exercises, and she meditates, and she does visualizations of her healing. She does all that she can think of to help with the healing process. And she feels good most of the time, but despite all that, there are days where she feels like it's hopeless. And today is one of those days. She's in a place of despair because today she has to go to radiation and she doesn't like that. But she goes and she makes her way there and they put her on the table and they bring in the machines and she's watching all the people running around and they, they line her up just right so that it's going to work just right. But it's taken a long time, and, and her mind starts to race. And even though she's trying to visualize her happy place, she can't get there. All she can think of is, what's taking so long? I, th I think I've got more cancer. I know, I know that I've got more cancer. It's, it's metastasized. Oh, my God. Why is the machine so far away from me this time? This can't be good. And she thinks to herself, I'm going to die. And I don't want to die. Not in a good place. Not a good day. Well, they go through the whole radiation, and she doesn't have any more cancer. So that's good news. But she's still in that, just that place of despair as she makes her way home and just kind of crawls into bed. And she sleeps for a while. And then she comes back downstairs, and her husband is there with some friends. And they're all dressed up. And they say, we have tickets to the ballet tonight. We've got tickets. And she loved the ballet. That was her favorite thing in the whole world. I mean, talk about a place where she could go and the art and beauty of life was just right there. So on this day, though, she just can't, can't imagine having to get all dressed up and put on her makeup and put on that wig that she has to wear. She just can't imagine doing all that. So she says, no, I, I don't want to go. But they stick with it. They persist. And finally, for whatever reason, they break through it, and she decides to go. She's not even feeling that well as they go to the, to the ballet, and she feels bad when the, val when the ballet starts. It's, it's not a good day. But as she sits there and watches the ballet go, she gets caught up in the story. And in particular, she gets caught up in the two primary dancers and how they dance the story. She says, those two dancers are like one body with two energies, just moving. Sheer beauty, she said, sheer beauty. And it was such a gift, such a gift that she got lost in it for hours, it seemed, as she watched the show, watched the play. And when it was over, she realized she wasn't the only one because everybody stood up and was clapping. It was like the joy and the beauty couldn't be contained anymore, and it just came pouring out of them as they clapped and clapped and clapped. And then, next thing you know, she was smiling. She was smiling, not because the ballet had cured her cancer or taken that away, but because she realized that in the midst of her life, even where she was, there was beauty and there was joy and she could participate in it. So on the way home, the night felt just a little bit crisper and the stars, they looked just a little bit brighter and the people who she loved, who, who, who she surrounded her, their faces just looked that much more radiant. And she was truly grateful for her life, right there in that moment. You see, today isn't just any day. 
Today is the day. It is the day that we've been given. So no matter where you are in your life, what's going on, and I know there's a lot going on, we all have gifts and blessings that are around us all the time. And we have a gift and a blessing right here right here with little Drew. He is a gift and a blessing to his parents' life and to us. And we get to say to him, you know what, we're a people that recognize the gift that you are. And we share it with the world. You see, the way that this, don't, don't go ahead of me yet, don't, don't look down, listen to me. Okay, stay here, don't go anywhere because this is important. The way he ends the video is this. Today, open your heart to all of these gifts and blessings that are around you all the time. Let them flow through you so that everyone you meet on this day will be blessed through you just because of your presence. Today, my friends, is a good day. Amen.